name is Joshua Hodgson, and I'm here at the Santa Rosa Plateau. In this ecosystem, there are very cool rocks, just like this one. Also very cool shelters. You see, it's like a little home for an animal to hide out from the rain. This could have been used for shelter, maybe even a little home. I can even fit in it. This is cacti. Basically, if you, um, Indians would uh, take the cactus and they would take one of those little strips you see, and they would take all the, um, all the little thorns out and then they would suck the juice from it, like fruit. It's like, it's a cactus juice and fruit. So, the Indians would use that to eat and when they take the thorns out, the seeds fall out, so when the, when um, a whole Indians group together and eat it, and then the seeds would fall, and unfortunately, maybe a few months, you would see that again. Speaking of oldness in nature, think about trees. They're so massive, so large, and they can get so old, but yet they're the oldest surviving thing on this planet so big and especially they can hold lots of water. You can find lots of tiny creatures in here. Little ants and maybe even uh, burrows. Um, like little animals would dig holes in here. But also when a branch falls off, you got bumps, like big bumps would appear. So that's why trees are very fascinating in nature. 90% of California's remaining Engelman oak trees are found in San Diego County, and a substantial population is found in our own Santa Rosa Plateau. Today, the biggest threat to, the, to this ecosystem is urban and residential development. 60 sensitive, threatened, and endangered plant and animal species live in the Santa Rosa Plateau. Use of non-native plants in households could endanger the ecosystem by outcompeting the native plant life. In ecosystems, plants, animals, and non-living things work together by supporting and depending on each other for survival. In my film, the rock serves as a shelter for animals to hide from other animals and for use as a home. The cacti works together with Native Americans. Native Americans eat the cacti and the seeds will fall out and grow more cacti. The trees in my film work together by producing water and food for plants and animals. They also make great homes for animals to live in.